uh, we have to kill the a male to be able to extract the sperm sac for the fertilization of the eggs. So, of course, you can if it's alive, it won't. It will be difficult for you to dissect. You. I've killed it. Now I open. So, but there are times, like I was telling on so yesterday, you could open up, you don't see anything. So, that's why whenever you want to do it, you have to have a spare, okay. The spam sack are always in two. I've got one. This is yeah. So you get it ready. Let's now go to the female to get the egg. Yeah, no, don't, we are covering. So, These are the eggs. The, you continue pressing. If you now see trace of blood, like this one, blood is coming at me. You have extracted everything there. The spam cells. The milkish liquid contain the spam cells. So you spread it over the eggs. You see that you've virtually lost the color. So it means you have excited uh, the. This is a process now of uh, fertilization. Shake vigorously. Now, we now need to go and spread it on the net. You saw the net in the, in the hatchery pond. This is the net you you put on the uh, put inside the pond. You spread. You can see it has holes. the The main function of the holes is that when the eggs hatch, the fries drop through the holes, leaving the eggs and the hatched eggs on top of the net, so that after uh, about six hours after it has hatched, you remove this net to avoid pollution. Of course, you know uh, the, the protein content of eggs. If you leave it there, say for 10 hours, the pond gets polluted. By the time you come in here, you see the, the, the pond the turn milkish, and that's pollution. And before you know it, it starts smelling. So, you, the pond, the net has already been tied in the 
in the hatchery pond. So you spread it thinly, spread the, uh, the fertilized egg thinly on the, on the net. Watch. That's it for pond one. This pond two. You spray it thinly on the net. If it, if it gets clogged together, like if it's not sprayed thinly, you find out that the fries are finding it difficult to detach. But if it's thin, you before you just a little shaking of the net, they are all on the floor. So it be running like this. Because you know that as it's running, it's a flow through, like I said. It's, it will coming out through this. So that takes care of the pollution. And of course, after you, after hatching, and you have removed the, the hatched eggs. But you, have pull, you pull out the, the net. Because by the time you pull out the net, what you have at the base of the pond are now fries. You see them uh, wriggling. Wriggling the first. There were some. Some, uh, if they are very reserved. By the next one, two hours, you see them trying to come to the surface. They are very active there. So that's uh, basically the hatching uh, process.